two teams vie for supremacy in Agora. They'll have highlights and lowlights. I'm here to catch the best of both and cast them. This is Casting Call. What's up, everybody? I am Mongoose. You are awesome. And this is Casting Call, episode 23. Casting Call, the series where I cast replays submitted by viewers like you. Check the description below to find out how. Now, I've been trying to get my ass on a set schedule and release these at certain times during the day. However, since patch point four zero came out, I've been playing my dick off. Um, Shimbi isn't as big of a threat as I thought she would be. I thought Tainted Magic would make her a beast. She's in a better place, but not the beast I thought she would be. The changes to Iggy's turrets did absolutely nothing, just as I predicted. And the sleeper was Steel. Steel is a goddamn beast now, and I've been having a blast playing Steel. Now, today's submission is from H. Mazur on Iggy and Scorch. Speaking of Iggy and Scorch, I want to see him do well. I, I, I miss a little Iggy and Scorch. And uh, it's kind of a dual submission. It was also submitted by Paul, which I don't know who he's playing here, but uh, we're going to cast it anyway. Now, on the blue team, we have Ariel, Grux, Gadget, Revenant, and Muriel versus the red teams, Countess, Narbash, Iggy, Sparrow, and Revenant. So this should be a pretty fun game. Let's check it out. Revenant about to run face first into Crunch. The Smash and Grab misses though. Now Revenant's teeing off. Countess is coming in for the assist. Gadget throws a mine in. Uh, nobody's really coming to help Grux out here. He's he's in his jungle. But he goes down to Countess and Revenant. I think Gadget could have done a little more than just toss a random mine. Oh, but here comes the blue team Revenant. He came, it was just a little too late, but not late enough to get a kill on Red Team's Revenant. Countess is in a pickle. Is she going to get out? No, she is not. She's stuck in that pickle jar. Looks like uh, Aurora went down too. Let's check that out. Aurora and Blue Team's off lane get teed off on by uh, Narbash, the surpriser from behind. The thunk lands. She, she, how, uh, okay, it was a piercing arrow. A piercing arrow, arrow took out Aurora. That was a nice shot. Starbash and Sparrow pushing in on the safe lane. They didn't see the Grux there. The Cryosism lands on Sparrow. Oh, the Grux smash and grab pulls both Sparrow and Narbash into the Hoarfrost, and they take them both out. Excellent combo. Got a little bit of trouble in the uh, red team's off lane here. Man, that, uh, that blue team's Revenant is fed. They both landed a Scar and an Obliterate, but blue team did much, much more damage. However, Grux is in trouble as Countess feasts in. Sparrow lands the Piercing Arrow. Sparrow's staying very cool in these team fights. Shielding comes out, but Sparrow's ultimate takes, him, takes Revenant down. Now Muriel's in a lot of trouble. She's amongst several members of the red team. Gadget saying fuck that noise <laughs> looks like she's trying to help where she can off to the side tossing out a pretty good mine almost gets sparrow Mario's still running around let's check let's zoom in on her uh, I don't think she's gonna get away let's go check on Eggy real quick whoa whoa what happened there So uh, let's rewind and take a look. Aurora charged into Iggy. She uses Cryosism, catches him with it. He uses his ult. He's able to direct it <laughs> just enough to take her out. That was kind of funny. Aurora comes sliding into the side. Huge Cryosism. Out comes the Gadget Bubble and the Smash and Grab. Nice combos from the blue team here. Blue team's, or red team's Revenant, I think, is uh, extended up a little too far here. He's getting punished for it. He might get away. Nope. The Obliterate and the Gadget combo take him down. Now, blue team's Revenant had ulted. I didn't even see that he was beside them, and he deletes Sparrow before she even sees what's going on. They're just marching through the towers, taking people out one by one. Feast comes out on Grux, but he, Countess gets taken down. Grux goes down as well. 
Damn, they just ran right through there. Blue Team Revenant and Aurora are caught out a bit here. Sparrow is ulting in. Revenant and Aurora get taken down. Revenant was in the Shadow Realm. I couldn't really see him, but he did die. I promise. They're immediately going to rotate in onto the Orb Prime and try and take it. Iggy throwing down tur turrets, but here comes Gadget. Uses her ultimate. Countess is trying to chase her away. Somebody died there. I didn't even see who. Oh, Iggy gets rooted into place. The Orb Prime finishes him off along with Grux. Now Grux is going to move in on this orb that's really low. He gets a shield from Muriel. And it's enough. They end up taking it. However, Countess comes in and deletes Grux as he was very low in health. Narbash with a big ultimate on Muriel. Let's see if they can get Muriel here. Countess doesn't have dick for mana right now, so I don't think there's much they can make happen here. So the Orb Prime's taken, but it's not really going to do much for either team. Blue team trying to push the red team's middle inhibitor here. Literally kind of hit the thing. The simulacrum. Simulacrum. Grux is taunting. Ah, he's Oh, <laughs> here comes a oil slick from Iggy. Oh, I love when shit like that happens. Grux is sitting there taunting his ass off. Iggy's threading the needle. Picking up the kill on Aurora. Blue team has Orb Prime. They're pushing in after the red team's inhibitors. I have no idea how red team could possibly... They've been getting their shit kicked in this entire game. Here comes Gadget, Revenant, and Grux. Aurora is sneaking in from the side. She gets uh, feasted on by Countess, but Countess takes a Grux ult. And the smash and grab, double pain, Countess goes down. Iggy throwing the turrets, trying to help out. He gets ulted by the blue team's Revenant. But he's just going to walk away. That was kind of a weird ult. Um, they're trying to hit Revenant, even though he's in the nether in the nether regions. He's still doing a lot of damage, but they're backing him up. Can they make anything happen here? Aurora re-engaging with the Cryocism. Doesn't really hit much of anybody there. Grux is pretty low. Oh, ho, ho. Iggy with the flame belch takes out Aurora. The fire melting the ice. Muriel's in trouble. She goes down. The shot to the ass from Sparrow. They're still in, in some danger here. Red team has lost all three of their... They have zero structures. Only their core remaining. But blue team's going to back off for now. Red team trying to mount some aggression. They have been getting stomped throughout this game. Grux is trying to move in. Sparrow ults. Grux thinks better of it and backs out. Here comes Aurora. She's looking for a cryocism. Simulcrum's out and the Muriel ult kind of whiffs there. Cryocism comes out, but Narbash has purity sensor and cryocism does nothing. Grux gets hit by, by the Feast and the Dark Siphon, and he gets taken down. Revenant tried to come in from behind and gets mauled. That was a bit of hubris on his part. He was thinking he was so tough. He has been all game, but uh, yeah, you it doesn't matter how fed you are. You go face first into three members of a team by yourself as a carry. You're probably going to die. There are exceptions, of course. Let's see if they can keep up the momentum here. Oh man. Oh, Countess is looking for the Muriel, but she picks up the kill on Aurora instead. That works. If you can't get one, get the other one. They got a pretty big minion wave. They might be able to take this inhibitor. Yeah, this in that inhibitor is getting melted. It goes down. They're pushing through to the core right now. 
If blue team loses, that would be extremely embarrassing for them. Gadget ultimate going down. Iggy's joining the fray. Oh, here comes Flame Belt. Backs Baby in the corner. And the oil spill takes out Gadget. Oh my god, Red Team wins the video game. They had every single one of their structures down. They were getting their dick smashed the entire game. And they came back and won that one. I guess this one's a lesson in persistence, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. That was crazy. Um, let me try and do an in-game analysis here. However, uh, I, I, fuck, I don't know. I guess shit happens sometimes. <laughs> Blue team dominated that entire game. Red team came back in the end, though. Um, with those death timers and, and, and just, just pushing... They, they ended up winning it. That's that's pretty awesome. That is that's an amazing comeback right there. Now on to my next segment, which uh, AKA HGN, I don't really know how to say that. He called it Paragon Trivia, and I like that, so that's what we're gonna call it. The word of the day is now Paragon Trivia. Today's Paragon tri Trivia is the word dipshittery. Use it in a sentence? I will. Dipshittery as in I don't know what kind of dipshittery is going in the mid on in the mid lane, but that motherfucker needs to stop getting killed. Dip shittery. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button for me, share it with your friends, and if you wish to subscribe, click on that cute little mongoose at the bottom of your screen to do so. If you want to submit your own replays for casting, all you need to do is leave the replay in the comments below, or tweet them at mongoosegg, or email them to mongoosegg at gmail.com. For now, this is Mongoose signing off. You guys have a good one.